Good morning and welcome back or welcome if you are new here. My name is Cheyenne and I am currently a second year vet student and this week I thought I would film a week in my life. Uh, this week is extra special though because it's finals week so I have three exams and one assignment that I need to turn in over the course of the next few days. So basically I'll be doing a lot of studying, a lot of work, and I thought I would take you along with me. Alright, so basically I have Let's see, let me run through the exams I have with you this week. So tomorrow I have, tomorrow December 8th or 7th? December 7th, today's December 6th, 2020. Um, tomorrow, December 7th, I have general pathology. And then on Tuesday, I have parasitology. I don't have anything on Wednesday. And then Thursday, I have bacteriology. And then by Friday at midnight, I think uh, my pharmacology assignment is due. So those are all the assignments and everything that I have uh, coming up this week. I actually have a paper that I need to finish editing and I need to turn that in today. That should be really simple. I just need to read through it and submit that. Um, so I will work on that in a little bit, but to get started, I think that I am going to run through some Anki cards and then after that, I'll probably look over my general pathology labs and figure out what I need to brush up on. And actually, before I do any of that, I am going to go ahead and set up my bullet journal. Um, I write everything like for the week down uh, under specific days. I'll show you how I set it up. It's pretty simple. Um, but I like to have a checklist so I can keep myself on track and, uh, you know, keep track of all of the assignments that I'm doing and what I've submitted and what I haven't. So I am going to go ahead and get that started. All right, so here's my bullet journal. It's from Archer and Olive. And let's see. So this is kind of what a typical week would look like. Um, I just write the days and then I'll have like a to-do section and then like a mini calendar. So those are some notes and stuff. And so I'll just flip to a blank section. And let's see, this month's colors are red and green. All right, so just using some Crayola Super Tips. And then I like to refer to what I've done in the past. So just flipping back to see. And so, yeah, I'll just write down the days of the week and stuff and my to-do list, and then I'll show you when I'm done. Alright, so here's how I set up my Bujo. Pretty simple, just write the days of the week, the dates, and then I have like an upcoming section over here, and then a little calendar and a to-do section. Uh, this is actually going to start tomorrow, so I'm going to flip back a couple of pages. And so here's my Bujo for this current day, so December 6th. So all of the tasks and stuff that I need to complete today, I'll go ahead and fill in under here. And then once tomorrow comes, I will have that set up already. So yeah. All right, so I am just popping in to give a quick update. So currently I am studying for Gen Path and I have been for the past few hours, basically since I started studying this morning. And I feel like it's going well. I feel pretty good about the material. And so currently I am just going through some of our labs and I have two more to go until I'm done with that. And then I'll probably revisit it later in the day. Um, but once I'm done with that, I am going to start studying for parasitology and I'll focus on like the big parasites that we've talked about. So like roundworms, hookworms, heartworms, stuff like that. And kind of just go from there. I'm feeling kind of weird because I feel like I like should be more stressed and like have more work to do, but I feel pretty good overall. So we'll see. Um, but for now, I am about to take a break and go eat some food and then I'll be back at the grind. All right, I am back again and I have made some progress. Um, I've done everything that I've wanted to do today so far for Gen Path, so I'm feeling pretty good about all of the material. 
Again, I'll probably review a little bit later tonight and then tomorrow before I take my test. But uh, overall, I'm feeling pretty good. So now I am moving on to parasitology and I have a ton of charts like these um, that compare and contrast a lot of the different parasites that we've talked about. So I'll mainly be studying off of this and then reviewing some notes in Anki cards. All right, so just checking in real quick. I am actually about to take another break and do a little bit of yoga. I started doing a little bit of work on my parasitology charts, but honestly, I just am feeling a little bit stressed and overwhelmed. So I'm gonna step away for a little bit, um, you know, try and de-stress, and then I'll come back to my parasitology charts, review those for a couple hours until the Chiefs game starts, which is like 7, 7.20, and then I'll probably call it on the studying for the day. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna take a break. Good morning, it's about 6.30. I woke up about 20 minutes or so ago. Um, I'm feeling very tired, as you can tell by my appearance and my voice, but um, I'm just gonna do some last minute review, look over my notes, and then take my test when it opens at eight o'clock. friends so it's about 1 15 and I just finished eating lunch I am about to start studying for my parasitology exam which I have tomorrow and that exam is comprehensive so there's kind of a lot of material to go over so I'm gonna try and get quite a bit of work done tonight and then probably wake up early tomorrow morning and just do a little bit of review before I take it the exam I had this morning went pretty well I'd say um, everything that was on there was all fair game you know it was stuff that they emphasized and I think it went pretty well so happy about that and then after I take my parasitology exam tomorrow morning, I am going to spend the rest of the day studying for bacteriology, spend all day on Wednesday studying for bacteriology, and then take that final on Thursday. So got a few more things to do, but I'm just trying to knock it out one thing at a time. Alright, hello, I am back again. It's been quite a few hours now and I've just been staying for Parasite this whole time. I think I'm going to do a little bit more work and then call it for the night, have some dinner and relax. So I will go ahead and end it off here for tonight and I'll see you in the morning. Hello and welcome back. Today is Tuesday, December 8th. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. Took a little bit of time getting ready today, but I made myself my eggnog chai, got my water bottle full, lit my candle, all that good stuff. So I'm ready to just kind of relax and do some light review and then I'll take my parasite exam. Probably take a nap because I, I think I need a little bit more sleep, but then after that I'll start studying for bacteriology. So that's all I've got on the agenda for today. Alright, so I have officially completed two out of three exams for this finals week, and I actually went ahead and completed my farm assignment yesterday, so the only thing I have left is my bacteriology exam on Thursday, and like I said, I have the rest of today and also all day tomorrow to study for it, so I think everything should go pretty well. This exam was longer than I anticipated. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure he told us the amount of questions. I guess I just forgot, but it felt like a pretty long exam, but it was really good. Um, he said that he really just wanted to focus on all of the important things. Then he was like, <laughs> he was like, like, if you don't know the answer to these questions, I'm just going to be like gutted. So, you know, just like all the really important stuff. And I thought it was pretty good overall. Hopefully I do well on that. We shall see. Um, right now I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I'm definitely going to take a little bit of a break, maybe just like hang out, watch some videos or something and just like chill for a little bit. I was thinking about working out, but I think I might do that later um, when I'm studying for bacteriology. Then I can do like half my studying, uh, take a break and work out and then get back to it. So I think that is what I'm going to do. So for now, I'll just be hanging out.
Good morning. <laughs> oh, big stretch. Do you want to go outside? Let's go outside. <laughs> JP, go. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, December 9th. I do not have an exam today, so I got to sleep in a little bit. And I'm actually making breakfast, which I never do because I feel like I never have enough time. So I usually like just drink some coffee and then eat lunch a few hours later. But today I do have time and so I'm going to be making some chorizo bowls, which I'm super excited about. And I will show you that in a little bit. Then after that, I will just be studying all day for my test tomorrow. So should be a good time. All right, I'm back. Here is my finished bowl. I've got rice, black beans, chorizo, and then a fried egg on top, and it is super good. I would definitely would recommend. And then I want to show you, I got this new candle. The lid says, I rough you. Super cheesy, but kind of cute. And uh, I guess the brand is Sand and Paws. Apparently it neutralizes pet odors, which I did not purchase it for that purpose, but I'm not mad about it because uh, JP can get a little stinky sometimes. So um, yeah, it's in tropical citrus. It smells really good and it was $7.99. So definitely would recommend going to Marshall's if you are in need of some new candles. So I am about to just sit here, eat my breakfast and probably just chill out for a little bit and then get started on some Anki cards and um, going over just like notes and stuff for bacteriology tomorrow. Um, the studying I did yesterday went pretty well, so I'm hopeful that I will do well on this test tomorrow. And yeah, but while I relax, I'm gonna play a little bit of Animal Crossing because, you know, I need to check my turnip prices. And yeah, that's about it. I'll update you when I update you. As you can see, I am currently in bed trying to get some work done. I was not feeling very well back when I was in the office, so I decided to move in here and then I grabbed my laptop just because I wanted to still do some work while I'm in here and still try and be productive since I do have a test tomorrow. So just doing some work, still looking at Anki cards, um, looking over all my notes and stuff. And it's about 11.37 now, so I'll probably eat lunch before too long and hopefully I'll be feeling better by then. All right, so for lunch, we're having this spinach and goat cheese pizza. We got it from Target. Here's what it's supposed to look like. And here is the finished product. I think it looks really good. We added some chicken and extra cherry tomatoes just because we had some leftover from flatbreads and I'm super excited. All right, so I'm back in the office. I am feeling better, thankfully. And I've just been working on bacteriology, of course. Um, I thought I would show you my bullet journal. So here you can see I have like my list of stuff that I need to do and I'm going to add, go ahead and um, add another note for any of the particular cards or sets that I'm struggling with. Um, so you can see I already had one there that I need to focus on, so I'm adding another one. And then once I finish like my first round of studying, I'll go ahead and go back over those particular um, like note decks in more detail. So just a quick little update, not really a whole lot going on, but I am so close to being done with the semester and I am ready for a break, so. All right, y'all, so I am having a little bit of trouble focusing on my studies, so I'm just gonna take a brief break and chat with you guys a little bit. I kinda just wanted to talk about how weird the semester has been, and obviously the last semester too, because that's when, you know, we really got into the mud with the pandemic and everything, and so we've had our hybrid classes and uh, after, uh, Thanksgiving break we actually went fully online so the learning style obviously has not been the same and I've just kind of been struggling with it just thinking about how and if this change will impact me and my ability as a doctor in the future because as much as I try to learn the same and study the same and everything it's just not the same. A lot of our um, exams are open book and I think that subconsciously like I know that and like I feel more relaxed somehow even though you know I'm trying to maintain my same level of dedication and everything as before all this craziness happened but I don't know it's just been weird oh there's JP <laughs> and I guess I'm just wondering if anyone else out there feels like that because 
it's hard. I've been struggling with it and I am trying my best, but I guess really the only way to combat that is to keep working and over break, I'm not doing any externships or anything. I'm mainly going to just be relaxing, but I am also planning to do a lot of studying and review over break just because I really want to set myself up well for next semester, which is supposed to be one of the hardest semesters of vet school, at least that's what I'm told. I'll be taking radiology, toxicology, virology, pharmacology, clin path, systemic path, clin skills, and then an elective as well. I think that was all of the classes. So yeah, it's gonna be an absolutely insane semester and I'm stressing out about it already, but you know, I just don't want to fall behind, especially when I have such a crazy semester coming up. And JP, JP, what are you doing? Okay, sorry about that. And so, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I don't really know just how much I actually know, if that makes sense. And, you know, I obviously you can't remember every single thing that you learn in school. It's just not possible, but I will certainly try my best. And I'll definitely, like I said, be doing a lot of review over break, especially for radiology. I need to um, brush up on my gross anatomy because it's been a while since I've looked at that stuff. And so, yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm curious what you guys think, how the semester, if you're in school, how all this craziness has been affecting you, um, if you're working, let me know how that's been if you're graduated because yeah I don't know it's a weird time obviously it could be way worse and I am thankful for my circumstances and for the fact that I'm still able to go to school but yeah um also I wanted to mention that I think we are getting the Oculus Quest this Friday and so we'll also be purchasing Beat Saber which is like the game where you like slash boxes to the beat of a song and I'm super excited for that so stay tuned to the end of this vlog to see that um this is me dancing around and slashing boxes like a fool so that should be fun and then tomorrow after I finish my exam it's open from 8 to 5 uh and then you can take it for like an hour within that window if that makes sense so I think I'll probably try and take it earlier in the day and then I will run to the grocery store to pick up some things for dinner tomorrow and yeah so should get a little more exciting um if you're still here at this point of the vlog I appreciate you I know it's been kind of boring but honestly that's just the reality of being a full-time graduate student in the middle of a pandemic so with that being said I will get back to my studies Good morning, it is about 6.30 on Thursday, December 10th. I am about to do some very, very quick review and then take my test and then I'll be done for the semester, which is crazy, but I am ready, so let's go. Oh, hello. Come on. <laughs> I have officially finished another semester of vet school, which is insane, but I did it. I just submitted my um, final exam for bacteriology. I had to submit it twice because for some reason Canvas was just like acting up and kind of freaked me out, but um, the lockdown browser had all my answers safe, so all good. And yeah, I'm done and I am about to get ready and head off to the grocery store. All right, so here is a very quick grocery haul. I've got refried beans, some seasonings, some corn tortillas, um, some Spanish rice, and I'm going to use those for dinner tonight. I am going to try to make birria tacos. And then I also got mozzarella for the tacos tonight because I couldn't find Oaxaca and this is supposed to be like the closest thing to it. I have also got some sandwich meat for sandwiches and then some pepper jack to go along with that. And then I have butter, uh, mini marshmallows, and then Rice crispy, so I can try and make Rice crispy treats. And then just some Fiber One brownies because those are a good little snack. Got some parchment paper down there, and then I got some sugar-free jello. I heard that if you mix that with Greek yogurt, it actually tastes really good, so I'm going to try that out. Next up, I have got some salmon and then some brats, and then I've got the beef over here for the tacos tonight. I picked up some Coke Zeros and then some hot dog buns to go along with the brats. And then we've got some sandwich rolls. And then let's see, 
okay yeah we have some white mushrooms those are for chicken lettuce cups and then <laughs> don't mind these just a pack of trulies to uh you know celebrate the end of the semester and then over here we've got some produce we've got cilantro and limes for dinner tonight um got some brussels sprouts to go along with the salmon some lemons and then some butter lettuce Hello all, so I have been back home for a couple hours now and I've basically just been chilling and trying to compile and figure out this birria recipe. I've been looking at a ton of different recipes and just trying to compile it all into like one single recipe. So I think I've got it figured out, I think I've got the instructions down and I'll show you once I start making that. But something exciting, the oculus came a day early so let's go see what it looks like. Here it is, here's the new oculus. It's so pretty. Is there muscles in there? I don't know. Here. We're still trying to figure it out. Hold on. <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you for your new Oculus? Uh, definitely 10. 10? So much yeah. so that we're going to go to Best Buy tonight? <laughs> I mean, yeah, unless you want to just watch me sit here with this on my head. Um, no. <laughs> I, I would prefer not to do that. Very so. compelling experience. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna go to Best Buy later on today so we can get a Chromecast so that I can see what he's doing because otherwise it's just kind of boring for me. And I think we're gonna buy the Beat Saber tonight and we'll try that out. I also got a package today, much less exciting, but it's just these new bins for um, the TV console. Here, let me take it out. So here's what it looks like, pretty simple. We have some bins right now, but they are just kind of dilapidated and dirty, so we definitely needed some new ones. Daniel trying to set everything up. Here's JP in the way as always. But here's the before of the TV console. You can just see they are very dilapidated and kind of dirty and they're not really the right size. So we're going to change that. All right. And here is the after. I love it. I think it looks so much better. The cream and the white uh, don't really go together, but that's fine. <laughs> I love it and I think it looks so good. All right. Daniel and I just had a quick lunch and I think I have everything prepped for the tacos. So let's go to the kitchen. I'll probably just be doing a montage, so if you're interested in making the tacos, I will either put the ingredients on the screen or leave them down below. Hello, as you can see, I'm all cleaned up. I did a quick workout and then hopped in the shower while I waited for the food to cook down a little bit. I am using my slow cooker, so it's taking a bit longer than um, it originally would if I cooked on the stovetop. Um, so basically, I'm just waiting for all the chilies and the onions and stuff to cook down, and then I'll blend them up and make a sauce and pour it back in there. So once that is ready, I will insert that clip now.
Hello friends, today is Friday, December 11th, and I actually don't have very much going on today. It's just gonna be a chill day and I'm just gonna take a couple days off before getting back into studying and preparing for next semester. So with that being said, I am just coming on to end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!